Another day at work. Hi, welcome to another video by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're at sea on our boat. We use this a lot for testing gear. Had a lot of questions about the shape of our float. We spent a long time developing this float. We made many 3D uh, printed components and we tried these in a pool of various shapes. Um, we always assumed that the narrow end would be the best to tow in that direction. In the pool that would keep diving. So in desperation, I pulled from the other side and lo and behold, it tends to skid along the surface much better. It never dives down. And it made a lot of sense. Um, today, we're gonna to tow this around on the surface and show you why it doesn't dive. Um, a conventional float, if it's just uniform dimensions on both ends, if it does happen to dive, it tends to stay under the water if you're dragging it behind the boat. This is only on a problem if you're on a, a short reef with a strong current and you need to do drift diving. Many guys get in the boat and don't pull the whole line back and they just leave the floats hanging out the back. They drive up for a second or third drift and this is when the problem occurs. Whereas with these, they skid over the surface much better and a lot of it is to do with the shape. You can see it's much narrower in this zone and thicker here. This wetted area here tends to create suction as it's moving along the surface, holding the nose up. Here you can see the float in action, skidding along the surface. This is exactly what it looked like towing it behind the boat. Underneath the float, you will see these ridges. This is what's directing that water flow into that hole at the rear. Once going, the faster you pull it, you can actually see it causes a, a rooster tail. And uh, this creates even more downward force, which helps lift the nose. Here you can see, as we speed up, the rooster tail actually increases, lifting the nose even more so. This creates quite a kiting effect across the surface. In this shot, I held the line under the water, the head of the float. So even though we're pulling it downwards, we still have this nose upward force. Very difficult to make this float dive. Exactly the same thing happens when it goes through a wave, if you're shore diving. As soon as it goes through the wave and it's underwater, this zone is much more buoyant and that's what pulls it back up to the surface and literally helps kite it onto the surface again. It won't stay under the water like a conventional float. These come in 7 litre, 12 litre, both have the option for a flag. In calm water the flag works perfectly, but in rough water you need a weight and then we foam fill it to make it more round, so it's self-writing. There you have our float and why it's that shape. 